This is, this episode is called A Call to Revival Through Prayer. Now, noting a song by Alan Asbury called Somebody's Praying You Through, we at Father Michael's Ministry challenge you to read in this episode of Bible study, James 5, chapter 5, verse 16. Confess your faults one to another, and pray ye for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It's here. It's here. Deep in the heart of America, somewhere in a nondescript parsonage, it's helping a hurting world with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. This is Father Michael's Ministries, and this is what we believe. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in multitude. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the freeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. And now preaching under biblical unction, Father Michael. Hello, my children. This is Father Michael here in Father Michael's Ministries. Hoping that your day today is going well, and if it's not, well, seems like we need to pray about that. Well, today, I would like to preach, teach, and also, you know, as I said, I am a prayer warrior, do also that. And what I am preaching about today is that... We, as a whole, as Christians, need to have a revival. And how do you have a revival? Well, one way is you pray for revival. You pray that in, you know, the, our land here in the United States, that we have a revival here in the United States. The whole world, as far as I'm concerned, but we'll stick within the United States for now. Unless God wills elsewise, which means, again, of course, God can be anywhere at any time he wants to, at anywhere, any part of the country. He can. There is, you know, always some some people know this, some people don't. This is this um, phrase that I'm fixing to use. Um, it come about, you know, quite a long time ago. Quite, quite a long time ago. Um, we're talking possibly, you know, even um, in the 18th hundreds, somewhere around there. But there was a. It's um old time gospel you know southern gospel type um, saying that have you paid, prayed through okay now what that means in more modern English that means that 
Um, it means quite many things, but one thing is have you prayed through yourself for yourself and your family and your friends and whomever or yourself of whom you, you know, someone's always, you know, had a, 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 a pious grandma or a pious grandpa or a aunt, uncle, a friend, whomever it might be. That, you know, the Lord put, you know, or even, or me, that the Lord put that person or persons on your heart. And then you prayed for them. See, you prayed through for them, praying through for them, for their, for their problem or whatever it might be to Almighty God. That's what that means. That means you are praying through the problem. The illness, the sickness, the uh, financial difficulty, whatever, stress, strife, whatever it may be, you're praying straight through it to Almighty God in Jesus' name, of course. But that is exactly, that's what that means. Think about it. If it does, if, if, if it, it, it makes, for some of you, that, that concept may be a little difficult to understand just yet, but that's fine. You know, that's, that's, um, part of what a prayer warrior is also is, is that, you know, that is someone who prays through four people, many people. Now, I myself and my ministries, we are not, you know, we, we are not, um, financially able to have a call center, you know, nor do I have the staff to, you know, actually do such a thing. But, um, or something like that, maybe in the future, wouldn't be such a bad idea. Also, in my ministries, come you know, it was one of my visions that you know there there could be you know just call centers of persons who are prayer warriors that can get together at a certain time and have people call and have their prayers you know you know taken um, you know and and uh, getting somebody to pray with them on the you know on the phone and everything it's i've done it before i've done it at a television station um i've gotten you know quite a few different you know people calling and asking you know different things for different people from themselves for their families you know they're, they're, in other words they're, they were asking me to pray through pray through for me pray through for my husband pray pray through that he's an alcoholic and he'll quit drinking remember Yes, I, I, I remember, I do believe in modesty and, you know, as far as alcohol is concerned. But remember, if you have the potential of being an alcoholic or you, you are an alcoholic, it's just not good for you, period. And you can always have wine at communion. Don't ever forget that. You can always have, you can, I mean, excuse me, you can always have grape juice. You don't have to have wine. Pardon me for the misnomer. Now, we we need to pray for for each other. You know, if if you know of you know if you, if you if you don't know how to pray, you know, first of all, if you don't know how to pray, you know, the the prayer to pray, I would say would, would be the Lord's prayer when the apostles, you know, asked, you know, Jesus, you know, they asked him, said, Lord, how ought we pray? So, you know, this is, you know, what Jesus said, you know, this is how you should pray. You know, and that's also called the model prayer. And it, and it goes, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thine kingdom come, thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. Right there, yeah. Now, now I didn't say in Jesus' name, Amen. In, in you know, in the Bible, right? When I just said that, but Jesus, you know, it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with that. 
Jesus is the reason that we're able to even pray to God anyhow. We couldn't do that without him dying for us. And, you know, Christians out there, you know that, that, you know, those of you who are Christians and you know enough that if it wasn't for Jesus, you know, dying on that cruel cross, you know, we couldn't be to the point where we are in our Christian lives today. Whether some people are entry level Christians or we got Christians with PhDs. Does that, I, I'm, it, it's, um, everyone just learns in a different way and a different pace. But we're not talking about just quite that. That's a, for another sermon. But, you know, praying. Praying is something that also that I need to, you know, I clarify a little something about of the, you know, the uh, positions of praying of and, and, and such. Well, I know some people, you know, and out there in the Christian world, you know, in your churches, it is a custom that when you pray that you get on your knees and you, and you, and you, um, you know, then you pray. Okay. I see there is nothing wrong with that, of course. I mean, if a person's at home or wherever they are, you know, and they want to get on their knees or they want to get their family on their knees before the Lord and pray, there's nothing wrong with that. But of course, you know, if someone, you know, it doesn't matter wherever they are in the world or in the church, church service, and everyone else or some people just wanted to kneel for a prayer, you know, that person that um, uh, could not uh, do that because of a medical condition automatically has the indulgence, you know, that they can just sit there and just, you know, pray the same way or, you know, whatever, you know, their free will would be, you know, it depends. They might be quite of some age, you know, but you never know. They might be seeing angels too. Praise the Lord. But we need to pray. We need to pray. We need to pray for. We need to pray for. You need to pray for your ministers, people. You, you need to pray for your ministers out there. You got to pray through through them. Pray through for me. I'm asking. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pray through through for you. I want you to pray through for me. I've got diabetes right now, and I've got. And I need to get in, in a little more in check. So that's just one thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say pray for me. And I'm going to pray for you for that. We need to pray through them for this revival, for these G, for for these um, for these Jesus rallies that I've been talking about happening this summer. We need to pray through for that. We need to pray through that you know there can be enough um, donations given that people uh, from their abundance could you know give a donation to you know the uh, ministry next month. Not, I'm not asking right now, but I'm asking next month the people to be thinking about that for perhaps giving a donation, which can get the ministry more or less started monetarily. That way I can invest in something a little more tangible myself to whereas I can make the tangible things that I want to make the donations for, like I say, my items and products and stuff. That way, well, as I had uh, aforementioned yesterday, uh, but I'll just say it simply like, if you gave a $10 donation tangibly, then I could in return give you a item of, of, um, what, of my ministry um, as a donation in return. Instead of, you know, you know, having tangible for tangible rather than having just tangible, you know, things for just faith. But that's not to say that if you give a donation just out of pure faith, that means that the Lord will bless you. The, 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 the Lord, the Lord blesses people more than they've ever thought about. They ever thought about it, really, really thought about it. They think about that the Lord's blessed them more than they think he has. And I myself and one have got to think of the same thing too, a lot of the same too. For all have sinned to come share of the glory of God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah for that. Hallelujah for that word, the, for the word of Jesus. Hallelujah for this. I just, it, it's, and, and, and also praying. When some people pray, you know, if they already got this, they understand what I'm talking about. 
But when some people pray, you know, they want, you know, they also 